Welcome everyone. Welcome to Knotless Box Braid Removal with q and I'm your host, licensed braider Shauna Hart. Most of you already know me, a lot of my clients. Um, for those who are new, I'm going live on Facebook and live on my YouTube page. And that's Glamour Kids Braids. Okay. Just trying to get everything working correctly, which I did. Let me just make sure I'm live. Live on Facebook and Instagram. Okay, thank you, thank you so much for joining me. I'm not gonna be too long here. So what I have is Knotless Box Braids. They've been in since oof, the end of February. So about two and a half months. See, it has a lot of new growth. Welcome, welcome. So I'll be taking these down the correct way. If you have any questions, feel free to ask while I'm um, doing this as well. Uh, let's just see. I don't know if you, if anyone is on um, YouTube, just let me know to see if it's, if you can see me. Hopefully I'll be able to uh -oh. Okay, all right. Let me go ahead and get started. I'm just trying to see if a few people come on. Let's see. Mm 
just wait until um, a few people jump on. For those of you who don't know me, and I'm, my name is Shauna Hart. I'm a licensed hair braider here in Orlando, Florida. And I'll be going live on my Glamour Kids Braids YouTube page and also Glamour Kids Braids um, Facebook page as well. Okay, okay. Let me go ahead and get started. Thank you all again once for joining me tonight. I really appreciate it. I know that you all are super busy, busy with the kids, you know, busy working, whether you're working from home or some of you that have returned back to work. gathering up all my supplies okay look like I am live on YouTube as well okay all right so welcome everyone I'll be looking into two different cameras so I'll be looking into my YouTube as well as my Facebook so again welcome 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 thanks for joining me my name is Shauna Hart I am a licensed hair braider um, for the last uh, eight years located in Orlando, Florida. Um, and I also teach braiding classes and things um, like that for youth and also adults. All right. So it looks like I'm, I'm live, so I'm not going to keep looking. All right. So today I'm just going to be removing my knotless box braids that's been in for about two, maybe three two months yeah a little over two months and this is how it looks like a lot of new growth okay all right all right so i'm working with a lot of new growth here and i'll just be getting started if you want to um ask questions please feel free leave a comment in the comment section and I'll be sure to answer the question okay all right again thanks for joining me all right so for my hair I am basically going to 
just moisten my hair. This is just a little spritz bottle here. Some people will do it on dry hair, um, but for me, I just like to kind of lubricate, lubricate the braid. Sorry, spraying every, spraying water everywhere. Okay, so I'm just going to work in sections. And I will actually start, I'll start on the side. There we go. All right. So I'm just gonna take a rubber band and just section off my hair. Thank you again for joining me. I am live. Facebook and YouTube, okay. All right, so I know basically where my hair is. And normally if you don't have a clue where your hair is inside the braid, um, you may wanna get someone that can maybe spot your natural hair coming out of the braid. Either way, you wanna be able to cut maybe, I would say about four to five inches past your natural hair. So I know where my hair is, I am basically going to cut. Now be careful, if you are a child please make sure that you have someone to help you all right so basically you can use a um what is it a rat tail comb um i just use this device here which is basically like a hair tool so it's made for scratching the scalp things like that. Also, I'm just going to be using this. It's a lot easier for me to use it for takedown, okay? All right, so once I've cut it, I'm basically going to just undo it. Just push it right through and push down. For those of you who have children with box braids, and this is your first time taking down the braids. You wanna be extremely careful, okay? Extremely careful when it comes to cutting the extensions, making sure you're not um, cutting your child's natural hair. All right, so I've removed the hair. If you've had your braids in and you um, use a lot of product, I, 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 no, 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 don't turn it's it off. Working. You have to wait till it come back up. You'll find that you have a little debris here that's been sitting on your natural hair. Basically, I take one of my Detangler brushes here, okay? And I go ahead and gently comb through from the bottom and work my way up. And like I said, you can add a little um, detangler or some water to it to make it a lot easier. And what I'm going to do, I have some um, detangler. All right. You just want to break the debris up. OK. 
okay? Pretty easy. Depending on the person's um, hair texture, if the hair is really, really thick. Knotless braids, you probably don't want to keep a man too long. Um, for me, I think I, I'm a month overdue. Yeah, I'm a month overdue, so. All right. Go ahead. Just undo all the way at the bottom. Like I said, rat tail comb or some type of non-sharp utensil you can use. Okay, knotless braids, they come out piece by piece, okay? Piece here, piece there. Okay, that's the last of the pieces. I'm just breaking up the debris. You want to make sure you're not too rough because you can break the hair. Cause a lot of damage and you don't want to cause a lot of damage to the hair. All right, so now it all depends on how much product you use while you're wearing your box braids. The more product you use on your hair, the more product build up oil, shedded hair, I guess particles from outdoors. Turn it off and turn it back on. Okay, a little. I don't know what to do with it. Okay, again. Now you don't have to necessarily do this step. Take it down and remove the debris. You don't have to. You can just take all the extensions out and then after you've removed the extensions, you can go ahead and um, start detangling the hair. It is going to be a process. Sorry, if you guys can't see. I'm trying to give you a close up look. Okay. Extensions. With knotless box braids, they're put in six, maybe more pieces and they feed them in. So ba basically it gives you a, a realistic natural look to box braids. So a little bit more flexible. Again, I just have my detangling brush. It breaks up the debris. Sometimes I put a little product on there to give it a little slip so the knot can slip out. Again, thank you guys for joining me. You can pop in and out. If you're not able to stay the entire time, the video will be aired later on. But I believe just for 24 hour period. All right, I can 
feel it breaking up. See, that's like a little knot here. Got a little towel as well. Okay. Let's see. All right, so that's removed here. So I've already removed some, maybe about three pieces. Again, my natural hair, especially in the front, is about this length here compared to the extensions. So that's why I said that you want to be careful where you cut, okay? Be careful where you cut because you don't want to... Um, Cut your hair. All right. So I'm just going ahead, just sticking that tool Mommy. right in between the braids. You can use your fingers too. Mommy. Yes. <sighs> I press this, I press this, and I go out, and I see. It says it's in there, and I can't press it. Hmm. Let's see. Connect to this network. Sorry, you guys. I'm at home as well with the kiddos. Let's see. Here, you're connected. They can't live without it. You're welcome. Mm hmm Okay. Oh, but still nothing's popping up. Again, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm just applying a little detangler. You can use leave-in. You want to use something that um, is going to provide a slip. Okay. I'll just apply that like so. Hope everyone is doing well, feeling well. Let me go up a little closer so you can see. Just breaking up that debris. Use your fingers as well. Try not to pull and tug on it too hard, okay? The tangler brush. So you want to make sure you fully detangle way before you wash, way before you wash, condition, deep condition, because you don't want to wash and turn those um, knots into clumped hair. All right. So there we go. It glides right through. Make sure you have a trash bag or something close by. I 
again, thank you for joining me. I appreciate you guys so much. All right, so let me go ahead and grab a few more pieces. What I try to do, I try to match up my natural hair with the box braids. And I'll more than likely go about four to five inches lower. Okay, to cut. I do them in sections because it's, it's way easier, to be honest. Spritz bottle, not a, not a spray bottle. You don't want the water to be dripping all down your hair. You don't want to soak your hair as well. You know, leave your comments down below. Let me know what you all like about knotless box braids. Okay, I would love to hear from you all. I would love to hear from you all. I can tell you my experience with knotless box braids, especially for someone who is <laughs> a little mildly tender-headed, sensitive scalp. I myself prefer knotless because they're not very tight. They're lightweight to me. You can immediately pull them up as well. Okay, just giving you guys a close up. So you'll see pieces coming out piece by piece. It does take a little bit longer though, I can say that. A little bit longer to install them. benefits are great and say I did have a lot of new growth a lot of new growth Again, thank you guys for joining me on Facebook Live as well as YouTube Live. I appreciate it. Uh, what else about knotless box braids? Um, the negative side to them, the downside to them is um, that they don't last as long as the box braids the classic box braids that start on your scalp. They don't last as long. They're beautiful, but they don't last as long. Um, they don't look as full, which is fine with me. They're not as full. Okay. You can use your nails too. Just get right up in there. And you're just basically unbraiding. Try not to snag on your hair. And the tool I'm basically using is the Easy Scratch tool instead of using the rat tail comb. This has a um, smooth edge. Okay. Again, I'm live, so if you all have any questions, please feel free. Just be gentle, you know. 
be patient as well. You want to be patient because taking down box braids, you have to have patience. It's best if two people are taking down the braids. Okay, four hands are better than two. Let me see if I can go down a little bit on my YouTube page. Hi guys. Hopefully you can see a lot better. I'm trying to get closer. All right. I'm just going to show you how the debris look. That's about what? I think we had a little interruption. Okay, so just kind of working my way from bottom, middle, to the roots. Okay, here's the next one I took out. All right, all right. We all know about sprays. Take down is the process. Like I said, be patient, be patient, be patient. I'm just pretty much applying um, some slip product on it. The tangler to help break up the debris. So don't be alarmed if you see hair inside of the your rat tail comb, your detangler brush. This is shedded hair that's been sitting there over two months in your braid. Mm -hmm. All right, so you should be able to smoothly comb through it. Okay, going on to the next one. I find it a lot easier when I put a little slip to it. came out easy. Came out pretty easy. smooth pretty pretty smooth pretty smooth okay so check out that new growth
Go ahead and clip that to the side. Where's the clip? I'm excited. I'm ready to see all my clients again. I am ready to see all my clients again, but I know it's going to take some time. Miss doing hair. I truly do. So I'm in Florida. They have lifted um, the curfew. They allowed us to go back to work as well. So I am slowly accepting clients. Miss you guys. Hope that the family, everyone is safe. Hope everyone had a good day. Hope someone was able to make you smile. Hope you were able to make someone smile. You know, I am thankful for my health and my strength and I don't take life for granted because there are some people that are not even here. They were here yesterday, but today they're not here, so I am thankful. I am truly thankful for life. Don't want to complain. Just using a little detangler. And um, this is Auntie Jackie's, but you use what you want to use because I am not endorsing any products. All right, so I'll just apply some of the product. I'll go and grab my um, detangler brush. You know, you can make time go by a lot faster. You know, entertaining yourself, watching, watching, um, catching up on some of your series, YouTube, Hulu, all that great stuff. Catching up on your TV shows. So I am on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. I do not have a TikTok account. I probably should. All right, so this is how the debris is taken up off of the hair. Again, this is a small tooth detangler. It helps break up the debris, okay? I am excited, excited, excited to be going back to work to beautify my clients. All right, so there we go. All right. What do you guys want to know about Nightless Box Braids? You think it's worth getting? What do you think? Just remember, um, they're not your classic, your traditional box braids. So you need to be patient with your braider as well as um, your, your braider, your stylist should be knowledgeable to let you know how to take care, how to take care of your um, knotless box braids. So basically I'm just unraveling, unraveling the hair Rattling the braids. That's it. Yeah, so your stylist should be able to tell you how to care for your knotless box braids. 
if they're very long, mines are very, very long. Mines are very long. So of course I couldn't wear a bonnet. So I just put a scarf around my head. Some nights I didn't even put a scarf on. I just basically slept on a satin pillowcase. I only moisturized my hair maybe, uh, I would say twice a week, if I need it, twice a week. Okay, let me get in there close so you can see what I'm doing. For new moms, for new dads, I encourage you to learn this because your little girls are going to need you. Your little girls are going to need you, okay, to help out. Mm. Look at that debris. Ugh. That's why I tell people don't leave your box braids in so long. Due to this quarantine, I, I left the man over two months, so two and a half months to be exact all right mm -hmm. again i just take a little product here just tangle a brush You want to try to get it out, just kind of break it up. It doesn't hurt for those who are not used to it. It does not hurt. It shouldn't hurt. If it hurts, then whoever's doing it, you need to tell them to put that comb or brush down to get out of your head. Yes, indeed. Your child should not be screaming and crying. They should not be screaming and hollering. I'm sorry. They should not. You just have to take down the hair, um, you know, at a time where you're feeling <laughs> patient, calm. Patient and calm. All right, and you don't have to finish it in one day. If you need to break up days, you do what's best for you and your child. If you're taking down your own hair, just make sure you um, you see what you're doing. Maybe bring a mirror to you. All right, so that's one braid. That's been taken down. Curls just popping back up. All right. So let's do this one and then I'm going to move on to the other side. All right. Basically, what I'm doing here is just taking it down with my nails. Just sticking your nails right in there and you're separating. Separate. Make sure you give your hair um, a good condition, a good wash. Oh man, a good wash. Anytime you have box braids or any protective style, really, that's been in for over um, four weeks, you definitely want to give it a thorough cleansing. Use your favorite shampoo that cleanses your scalp and your hair. Yes, indeed. All right. Great, great, great. Good cleansing. Also, um, I will wash my hair twice. Make sure it's all out. Make 
sure it's clean. Some of you that have thick hair, you may want to um, wash it three times. Use less harsh chemicals, please, please, please. Use product that has a lot of slip. See that debris there? You just want to gently break it up, okay? Gently break up the debris. I'm just using my detangler brush. After I use a rat tail or a small tool. Okay, all right, so let me just move on to the front. Any questions? No questions at this time. Okay. I'm gonna keep going. If you don't have any tools, no rat tail, just use your fingers. Again, those that are not used to box braids, please, 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 please be gentle, be patient. If you're dealing with a little one, you want to be able to distract them. Favorite toy, favorite video, favorite snack, all that great stuff. Split that up again. Just take a little product. I'll put some product on that. Please like, share, comment. If there's anything you would like me to discuss, please leave it in the comment section. I will definitely get back to you all. I'll try my best to answer every question. Again, follow me, Glamour Kids Braids, on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. Just got a little hand towel here. All right. Mm. So it should be able to just glide right through. Again, you want to be able to line up. Make sure you don't um, cut your natural hair. If you can't do it, please get someone to help you. Natural hair versus the extensions. I'm going to try to line it up. All right, that's my natural hair here. I'm going to go about three, four inches down past. Okay. Please, ladies, deep condition your hair. Oh, let me just show you quickly because I may not be on too long. Just want to come on briefly. Deep condition your hair, get you a plastic cap. Get your favorite deep conditioner. Um, I am actually going to be using um, this here, this two-step system here. Hmm. It's a protein treatment and it's also a balancing moisturizer. This is for um, deep conditioning. After you have taken down your protective style. After you take down your protective style, please wash 
and deep condition, okay? That's very, very, very important. Detangling, getting all the knots, all the debris out to make sure your hair does not mat. You do not, that's a no, 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 no. Do not, do not let your hair mat up. Please do not take your braids out and then go straight to the sink and wash your hair. No, you can't. Don't do that. Please don't. I'm trying to help you guys. Please don't do that. Or you will have different matted sections in your hair. Yep. Like I said, four hands are better than two. Because <laughs> this is gonna take me a few more hours tonight. Now I'm getting ready to get off of here. Just wanted to come on live and show you guys. Again, I'm just using either a rat tail or my easy scratch tool. Just removing the braids. Oh yeah, another tip. Here's a 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 tip. Here is a tip. Before you get your box braids in, please remember to thoroughly clean your entire head. From the scalp to the ends. Deep condition as well. You want to deep condition your hair. Make sure it's well moisturized before you apply the uh, braids in because the box braids, they're going to stay in your hair over a month. For those who wear the hair uh, protective styles for about two months, don't go past three months, please. Don't wear your box braids past three months. You want to be able to prep your hair correctly before you do a protective style. Okay, so I'm just applying some product just to give it a little slip. All right, I can feel that little knot there. It's right up in here. All right, start from the bottom, work your way on up. Start at the bottom and work your way on up. You can tell I be around kids all the time. I'm doing riddles and rhymes. But my information is not only for just parents. It's some adults out there that need to learn how to properly take down their box braids. I know there are stylists that will take them down for you correctly. Woo! So, I just wanna get all that debris out. Parts of my hair um, is fine. Parts of my hair is medium fine. I don't have thick, coarse hair at all. I feel like the thicker and the coarser your hair is, your box braids hold up very well. For someone that has fine, fine hair, your for us, the box braids, protective styles, they don't last as long as people with um, thicker hair, thicker, coarser hair. Our hair frizzes up very fast. Okay, all right, you should be combing very smooth, very smooth. All right, so I have this piece here. This is just another knotless box braid. I just basically wrapped, did a hair wrap. Um, with that, you're going to treat it the same way. Treat it the very same way. I measure that on out. Go down about three, four inches. Yes, indeed. 
or a little bit longer if your hair is longer. So I just cut that. And this is just string. And just tug on it. Uh, it's going to have knots as well. Put that little knot. Tug on it. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. Especially share with those that um that are new to having protective styles, having box braids in their hair, their child's hair. I would like to help every parent out there, every individual as well. Any organizations with um, adopting children of color or children, adopting children of multi-races. And you wanna learn more about um, hair care, braids, protective styles. If you wanna also learn about doing braids or protective styles on your little one, please contact me. My website is GlamourKidBraids.com. I'll leave that in the link. Let's see. I said I was going to stay on here too long. I was going to be on here for an hour. It is 8 o'clock. So... I'm getting ready to get off of here. If I left anything out. Please let me know. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Share it. Like it. All that great stuff. So basically, for those who are just tuning in, I'm just taking down my hair wrap easily. And this is just a form of um, hair jewelry. That's it. You don't want to cut the entire thing off because you'll be cutting off your hair. So we don't want to do that. But I am happy you guys have joined me. Thank you so much for coming on, joining me. Yes. Make sure you work in sections. I am basically trying to take my hair wrap out by touch and feel. I can't really see that far. There's a knot there. Yeah, I have sharper scissors. I'm, I'm using kid scissors. <laughs> oh, I couldn't find my hair scissors because I'm at home. So I'm using the kitty scissors. more to go but I am not going to be on here long oh my string is just being stubborn right now let's see there you go 
find that knot. But hopefully you guys um, enjoyed what I had to um, bring to you guys, show you guys. I'm just trying to take out this wrap. This string is being stubborn. stubborn oh before I go let me so you guys see my shirt this shirt says I am authentic self love is the best love that you can ever have which is true Love my t-shirt. And you can find this on Teespring here. I'll leave a link in my description bar. If you love my earrings, I'll leave a link as well. These earrings are by Miss Sally's Bling Jewelry. Love these earrings. She has a ton, a ton of stuff for five bucks. All her jewelry is five bucks. All right, y'all take a look at that. All right, so I'm just taking down this hair wrap that was over the braid, okay? Taking that string off. The string is being stubborn. I'm telling you guys, it's being so stubborn. But I appreciate you guys joining me. If there are other videos that you would like for me to do, please also leave that information in the comment section. I usually do demonstration videos to help anyone who wants to learn more about braid installation or re braid removal. Um, crochet services and things like that as well. But I love giving information. Well, I keep it to myself. I can just share it. It doesn't hurt to share. Uh oh. I'm dropping stuff. I am live, guys. Live at home. Oh, so. I am. Um, Dropping things and trying to pick it up. I'm like, I, I really can't see what's going on with this um, stream. string is giving me a hard time. That means I securely put this in very well. Mm. I am jump, dropping, dropping. Dropping, dropping. things but 
But I appreciate you guys coming on, taking some time out of your busy schedule to come and watch little old me just take down these box braids. You know, I am I'm gonna have to go and look in the mirror and see what's going on with that last portion of um this wrap. Yeah, the last portion of this wrap here. It just gives me a hard time. Yeah, let me put that away. All right, I'm going to do one more, one more for you guys, and I am done. Okay? I am done. Do one more for you. So I just measure. Where are my scissors? Is a thief. Where's, the, where's my scissors? All right. Okay. All right. Three to four inches down. Possibly more, depending on how long your hair is. If you can't remember how long your hair is, I would suggest you to just take it down. Cut it at the um, the end and work your way on up. But if you know where your hair ends, or you know, have a good idea, like I said, just cut three to four inches or more. All right. Just using that, just taking my fingers, taking my fingernail, separate. Okay, separate. Separate the braid. Separate the braid. Separate the braid. Just separate the braid. Separate the braid here. You want to learn how to do knotless box braids? Please contact me. Let me know. You can private message me, or you can go to my website. I'll have that information linked as well. All right, so we got that one down. This is how it looks. See that debris there? Take a little product. It's dropping. It's dropping. Luckily, I have something up under me to catch all the hair so it won't be so messy. All right, all right. Take my detangler brush. Mm-hmm. See how easy that is? It just glides right on through. It glides right on through. It glides. I am not a singer, but it glides right on through. All right. You can feel it with your fingers, too. Shedded hair. Just shedded hair, guys. Don't be, don't be afraid. Don't be scared. You're thinking your hair is falling out. Nope. It's just dead hair. Just being built up over the time that you have. You're braids in your hair. The longer you have the protective style of the braids in your hair, it's basically going to collect a lot of... Um, Dirt, oil, sweat, debris, you know, product. 
product buildup, all that stuff there. I'll be taking this down by myself. I have no help, absolutely no help. So, yep, just me, me and my hair tools, me and my hair tools. All right, guys, once I get that down, um, I'll more than likely just wash my hair, deep condition it tomorrow. I don't want to be up too late. So, this is how it looks. So this is the before, before, braids are pretty long, pretty long. Over the time, this is how the ends look. You can tell they're getting all shabby. What kind of hair did I use? Um, I believe this is Freetress. Yeah, I believe this is Freetress. Um, what is it? Freetress pre stretch hair. And maybe a little um, Queen V. It's about mm, 36 inches here. 36 inches. Mm -hmm. 36 inches and I'm about 5'10", 5'11", so they probably reach to my lower back. All right. Okay. All right, guys. I am, I am done. I'm going to get out of here. Just want you guys to see. But your hair shouldn't be severely dry when you take out your um, box braids. But thank you all for joining me. I appreciate it. I really, really do. I hope everyone stays safe. Wear your mask, wear your gloves. Boost up on your vitamin C, your vitamins, all that great stuff. And um, I will see you guys again soon. Hopefully I'll do um, some lives on the weekend. All right, guys. I am, I am getting ready to get out of here. But I'll do some lives on the weekend because I know some people work during the week. Um, for those who missed the start of the video, please, please watch it again. Please share it. All that great stuff. I love you guys. I miss all my clients. I miss all my clients. I truly do. I miss you guys. If you're watching tonight, Miss Sean, I miss you. I truly do. Even the little ones, the four-year-olds, I miss them too. My adults too. I miss y'all too. Can't wait to glam you guys up with your braids or your crochet, all that great stuff. All right. Please like, share, subscribe. You know, all that great stuff. If I didn't cover everything, please, 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 please let me know. You can always email me, um, DM, private message me. Go on my website. If you want to know more information, please contact me. I am local in Orlando, Florida. My number. I'll have that listed as well for those who have a few questions. Because I do have people from out of town, out of the state of Florida that contact me. I appreciate you guys. Really do. All right. If you would like to see more, more videos like these and you want to help this channel grow, please, please, please subscribe. Hit the bell notification. And you'll know when I go live or you'll know when I um, make a new video. All right. Okay, guys. All right, I am signing off. I am signing off, guys. Peace and love to everyone.
be nice and kind to everyone. And I will see you guys again soon. All right. Bye. Love and light.